The Almonds Linux project has introduced a new addition called Kitten, which will serve as the direct upstream for Alma Linux OS and the, is the primary point for the Alma Linux community to engage and influence the future of the Alma Linux OS. It's not intended for production use. This re first release is based on CentOS Stream 10 source, which will eventually be the basis for Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL 10 later on. So why are they making this? They say because we anticipated many changes in 10, we wanted to get a head start on building Alma Linux OS 10. Earlier this year, we started setting up infrastructure in the build pipeline for Alma Linux OS 10 and started testing using CentOS Stream 10's code. Based on the preparation work, we are excited to share that we have successfully built a preview of Alma Linux OS 10 that we are calling Alma Linux OS Kitten 10. Now, real quick, just as a side note, I'm a little disappointed that Alma Linux OS Kitten does not have a kitten mascot, like a little um, 2D mascot character that is a kitten. Just a little, dis it's okay. Just a little disappointed, just a little. So how is Alma Linux OS Kitten different from CentOS Stream? They say, first, this is not Alma Linux Stream. CentOS Stream is a product of the CentOS community. It is the ultimate destination of the CentOS community's work. Alma Linux OS Kitten is not a product at all. It is meant as a vehicle along the journey of development for the next version of Alma Linux. We are using our freedom here to do a bunch of work in preparation of Alma Linux OS 10. Below you'll find a big list of differences on our wiki where you can find the full release notes for Alma Linux OS Kitten 10. Now there are a lot of things to cover on all the differences, so we're not gonna cover everything, but one of the big ones are re-enabling frame pointers. So RHEL and CentOS Stream disable frame pointers by default, but with Alma Linux OS Kitten 10, they are re-enabling them. This enables system-wide real-time tracing and profiling for optimizing the performance of any workload running Alma Linux, as they say. They're also doing some stuff with Secure Boot. So Trusted Boot has been uh, long been required by bare metal devices and is becoming more and more popular in virtualized environments. Alma Linux OS Kitten 10 supports Secure Boot for Intel, AMD, and ARM platforms. They've also made some changes for Firefox and Thunderbird because they're going to be shipping RPM packages for both of those, whereas RHEL will be shipping uh, Flatpak versions coming in RHEL 10. So Alma Linux 10 will, or Alma Linux OS Kitten 10 slash 10 will have uh, RPM packages for Firefox and Thunderbird, and there will be Flatpak versions for the RHEL edition. There are also many other changes, and we'll have those linked in the show notes for anyone who'd like to learn more about Alma Linux OS Kitten 10. And again, we need a mascot that's a kitten. Uh, just saying. <laughs>